Teams rarely ever draw in the AFL, but when they do, it's miserable for everyone. There was a time in 2017 where GWS couldn't avoid draws, because they ended up drawing two games in a row. It all starts in round 15, when Geelong faces GWS at Giants Stadium. Patrick Dangerfield marks Andrew Mackey's quick snap, before going to Tom Hawkins, who's in a 1v1 contest against Phil Davis, and Hawkins wins the contest before slotting the set shot goal. Jeremy Cameron kicks the ball towards Jonathan Patton, and Patton rises up for the grab. Patton has been kicking really accurately this season, and so Giants fans already know that his kick is going nowhere but through the middle of the big sticks. Exceptional conversion from John Patton. 51 metres out, he gives it a ride, and it never looked like missing. Tom Lonergan has the ball in defence, under pressure, and passes it off to Zach Tui, but Tui tries to fend off Steve Johnson, which fails, and he's taken holding the ball. Now Tui's got a problem in the form of Steve Johnson, good forward pressure from the Giants. Stevie J strangely decides on a drop punt, but it somehow registers for a goal to put the Cats off to a great second quarter start. Yes. Well, that was unorthodox and brilliant. <laughs> Mitch Duncan sends the ball to Andrew Mackey, but his attempt to push off Josh Kelly is met with an aggressive driving tackle that sees Kelly with a set shot from 50, but he fails to score. A short while later, Wilson makes a fatal error in defence and nearly turns it over, but he's saved by Geelong's goals, which he rushes the ball through. Then, Mackey delivers a skillful driving pass to first gamer Wiley Buzzer, who splits the middle and gets his first goal ever in the big time. Mount Gravatt in Queensland. Big right. kick, big moment. Welcome to the big time, Wiley Buzzer. Let's cut to the fourth quarter. Geelong are up by two goals. Mumford floats the ball forward, but Harry Taylor turns over the pill with his handball. And Lockie Whitfield kicks an incredible left foot snap on an angle that makes the Giants fans go crazy. Here's Mumford, keeps it alive, goes to a one-on-one, -on -one. Patton with the size advantage, spills to the back, Taylor in best position, saves the day. Flips a handball, misses the body, Scully leaves it behind, picked up by Whitfield, left foot snap from Lockie Whitfield is a goal! After Matthew Kennedy's tackled, the ball spills to Matt DeBoa. It quickly transfers from Sam Reid to Cameron, and Cameron blasts it towards goal, and Patton nabs the mark, and he kicks truly. Scores are level. Now, there's 40 seconds left, and GWS lead by a single point. Matt DeBoer's clearance is smothered, but Heath Shaw manages to clear defence. But Razor Ray rules Shaw's kick as a deliberate out of bounds. Zach Tui has one last chance to find a target. And he spots up Tom Hawkins. Clog it up. Is there a hero for the Cats? DeBoer, Guthrie, brilliant, Shaw. Quickly kicks the ball out of the area. They're going to play deliberate. Is it deliberate? Razor Ray's the oh, man. Yeah. Razor Ray says deliberate. Okay. Always going to be paid. So Tui quickly. Oh, oh, Hawkins. Hawkins marks. GWS fans begin to boo. Hawkins runs in. And... For his second goal. He sprays his kick to the right. Giants fans begin to cheer, but they quickly stop as they realise there's nothing to celebrate. After all, it's only a draw. That wouldn't be GWS's only draw of the 2017 AFL season, because the next week, Round 16 saw them face Hawthorne at Utah Stadium in Launceston. Jack Gunston tackles Tom Scully, and the ball spills to Jeremy Cameron. He passes it back to Scully, and Scully finishes the play with a fantastic left foot snap that goes straight through the middle. Kick wide for Cameron, off hand, Scully. Bounces back to Cameron, he almost found his way through as he legged. Got it back to Scully, who can snap on goal. That's a great finish and the Giants have got the first. Mitchell takes possession in the centre and kicks to Liam Shields, who finds himself in open space. Taylor Dray receives a handball from Shields and passes the Sharon off to Isaac Smith putting him into big trouble. He escapes with a huge handball over the top to Ricky Henderson, and the 28-year-old neatly guides the ball through the posts to 
to extend Hawthorne's lead out to 13 points. Now with Isaac Smith, rough head to Mitchell, and now it might open up for Hawthorne. Shields has got it. Not much to kick to inside 50, but he's got some running support. Duray waits for the ball to sit. He sold Smith into a bit of trouble. Great handball over the top, and Henderson will finish off the great work. The Giants go into their quarter-time huddle only down by one. Off the Cullen Ward drills the ball to Devin Smith, and Smith finishes the playoff with an easy goal. It's working it forward with their pressure and eventually spills to Lobb. Handball to Whitfield, opening up to Ward. Seconds ticking away in this first quarter. Ward to the top of the square. They can play on Devin Smith. They could have raffled it between three, but the Giants close it to just one point. GWS take control of the second quarter, scoring three goals to one, going into halftime with a nine-point lead. But Cade Stewart's goal with one minute left in the third helps the Hawks to a 15-point three-quarter time margin. Massive last quarter as Sicily sends it into the pocket. Stewart makers! Almost. Hawks still a chance. And Stewart at ground level was able to do the roving and finish off the good work of the Hawks. But the Giants come back with momentum. Jonathan Patton's fifth goal after a mark over Caden Brand sees the Giants take a five-point lead. Hawthorne needs a goal. With 1 minute 30 left, Langford's perfect kick to Luke Bruce is spoiled by Heath Shaw, preventing a potential match-tying goal. Fast forward to 1 minute later, and there's a ball up in the Hawks forward 50, with 31 seconds left in the match. Shane Mumford's tap goes to Tom Scully, but the ball slips through his fingers. Burgoyne dives and taps the ball forward. Ward dives on the ball, but he's tackled. Ward gets the ball again and clears it but his kick out of defence goes straight to Will Langford. Langford snaps the ball towards goal, but his snap is way too low. Heath Shaw is going to touch it, or will he? Giants by goal. McAvoy knocks it down. Scully with a fumble though. Burgoyne an important knock on. Ward is after it, diving on the football. Perryman in there as well. Ward gets back to his feet. Squeeze the kick out. Langford. Langford snaps to goal. Bouncy ball. Oh, what a miracle bounce. That's right, Will Langford recreates his 2014 grand final goal, bouncing the ball over a 6-foot veteran defender to draw the game with 15 seconds remaining. The ball's bounced in the middle, where Tom Mitchell crumbs the ruck tap and passes it to Liam Shields. Shields blasts it forward. Rory Lobb picks it up, but he's tackled. Langford steals the ball, but his kick towards goal is touched and doesn't travel very far. Luke Bruce punches it forward with both hands, and the ball bounces up and Ryan Burton punches it forward, and it bounces through for a point. It seems that the Hawks have won. Ball bounced back in the middle, knocked down Mitchell, got it to Shields, the Hawks with one chance at victory, knocked down by Lobb, any score will do, Langford up for it, it's touched off the boot, bouncing ball, seconds ticking away, knocked by the Hawks, just have to get it over the line, Burton slaps it, no it's score. rushed through. No score. It's rushed through. No score will count because it was the Hawk that knocked it through. But the umpires rule that the siren had sounded before Burton's punch. The Giants have just drawn their second match in a row. The entire stadium can't believe it.